I'd like to stay on the hope issue if we could because I'm still unclear and, it, and I suspect that maybe the voters are as well as to which one of your claims is actually the right claim. Ms. Evans, you say she voted to go to HOPE, and Ms. Abrams, you say you worked with Republicans to save the HOPE scholarship. So if I could ask just one more time for each of you to clarify this issue, because it's been quite confusing. Ms. Abrams. Certainly. In 2011, if people remember, we were in the midst of an economic recession. The HOPE program, which is pre-K, technical college, and college, is funded by the lottery and the lottery was in jeopardy and no one denies that the lottery was going to run out of money. When that happened, we were also under Republican rule. Republicans controlled every statewide office, the governor's office, they had a supermajority in the Senate and were close to one in the House. The answer was not to simply say no. That would have been a symbolic response to hold on to what was passed and was not going to happen again. I went to work. I worked with Republicans, first fought with them, and finally got three concessions. One, that in, in addition to the Zell Miller Scholarship, which is a full tuition scholarship, there is also the HOPE II, which is the B Average Grant. Number two, we saved pre-K for 500,000 students since 2011. Number three, we saved remedial courses for technical college, and I then asked Representative Evans and Representative Craig Gordon to carry legislation to restore the 2.0. But on top of that, the 100,000 person number that my opponent uses is that's how many students got HOPE last year. The reality is HOPE is alive and well and it is disingenuous to say anything else. Ms. Evans. The facts are these. Prior to the cuts in 2011, 250,000 Georgia students had a HOPE scholarship or a HOPE grant, nearly 250,000. Ms. Abrams just told you that right now that number stands at 100,000. You don't save the HOPE scholarship by cutting it. That's why the Georgia Legislative Black Caucus took a position against the legislation in 2011 that my opponent co-authored. That's why every single Democrat in the state Senate voted against that legislation. And that's why ultimately the majority of the Democrats in the House voted against it too. I have put forward two facts in this campaign. After those cuts, 97% of African-American high school students lost access to full tuition HOPE scholarships. And we awarded 60,000 fewer scholarships and 40,000 students had to leave technical college. My opponent has not today or at any moment on this campaign trail refuted those facts because she can't. They are the facts. And I find it completely disingenuous that she continuously tries to take credit for what our hardworking preschool teachers did. They came to the Capitol and said, you cannot touch pre-K because that is our little children. That is getting them ready for kindergarten. They saved the pre-K program. Teachers are amazing. 